Hey guys, welcome to my channel, AK Valya, and today we're gonna talk about how to use the whiteboard in Zoom. At the end of the video, I'm also gonna show you how to use Zoom annotation tools. And if you wanna keep seeing such useful content on your feed, please, please hit the bell notification icon and the like button so you can keep updated with all the content that I'm releasing. If you wanna know how to make your Zoom meetings more secure, please click on the top right hand portion of the screen where there will be a link and you can see all the ways of how you can make your Zoom meeting more secure. Now jumping straight into it. Uh, so the whiteboard feature is in Zoom is a collaborative tool that uh, you can use as an online instructor, teacher or, uh, or, or an employee of an organization to collaborate and discuss uh, other things with your peers or your students and uh, collaborate with them. So for that, uh, for accessing the whiteboard feature, you need to be in a meeting. So what I will quickly do is jump into a mute meeting and show you how to access the whiteboard feature. So I will quickly click on new meeting. And now I am in a new meeting. I will just mute myself because only I am there. And uh, you can see this is the meeting interface of any Zoom meeting. And to access the uh, access the whiteboard feature as as the host, you have to go down and click on share screen option, which is available to you at the bottom of your Zoom screen. As soon as I click on it, I can see the whiteboard sharing option. And if I uh, double click on the whiteboard option, I can see a whiteboard will appear here. Now the advantage of this whiteboard is I, I can use this whiteboard to explain and draw and other participants can also use this whiteboard to explain or discuss things with you. So the options that you can see here as the host are the same options that will be available to the attendees uh, so that they can use these options and they can also draw and discuss on the whiteboard. If you are a teacher or if you want to explain something uh, to your peers uh, alone and you don't want them to collaborate or draw anything on the whiteboard you can disable attendee annotation and you can do that by uh, going on top of the screen where you can hover and you will get all these options uh, you can click on more and here you have an option which uh, which say disable attendee annotation and if you click on this option no participant or attendee will be able to draw or annotate on the whiteboard and uh, then you can uh, explain whatever you want to explain uh, to uh, your uh, to the attendees uh, in, a, in a carefree manner but if you have if you don't have this option enabled and you want to work collaboratively and also at the same time you want uh, that the this feed the annotation feature should uh, shouldn't be used inappropriately by the attendees you can enable this option which which is show names of annotators and what this basically means is whenever someone will annotate or draw on the screen their names will appear right next to it so you can see who has drawn on that particular portion of the screen these are some options that we we'll quickly go through that are available on the whiteboard a uh, text is a uh, like a normal text that you can use to write anything on the whiteboard uh, the draw option is where you can draw anything a stamp option is if you want to put focus on something a spotlight option is uh, an option which gives you a nice red spotlight and you can use that to gain focus of all your attendees uh, a next an other spotlight option is if you want your name or your attendees want their names to appear on uh, beside some drawing or graphic so they can just use this a spotlight and they can click um, and they'll see that their name will appear on on the left or the right hand side of the graphic that they want to the eraser will obviously erase anything that you want to the format option is for choosing the color the width the fonts uh, and the size of the font the undo and redo options are basically self-explanatory uh, the clear option will clear all drawings clear my drawings or clear your attendee drawings 
and the save option will save the whiteboard in case you want to share it after the meeting with all of your attendees. You can click on show in finder to find the uh, whiteboard image that has been saved for sharing this to your attendees. So this is how you use uh, the whiteboard option. Uh, and now I will show you how to use other Zoom annotation tools. So if you want to annotate uh, as a host or as a participant on, uh, so I will exit this quickly now. And now we are on uh, the home screen back again. Now I will show you uh, how to use other Zoom annotation tools. And if you want to annotate or let your attendees annotate on a uh, uh, presentation that you're going to show or a Google document or an Excel file, uh, what you can do is you can go back on share screen and you can share your desktop. And as you can see now, the desktop has been shared. Now what you can do is you can open any Excel or you can open any presentation here and uh, you can have an option enabled which allows you as well as your attendees to annotate. If you're an attendee and you want to annotate or circle or highlight something, you can uh, ask your administrator or the Zoom host to enable the annotate option and uh, then you will be able to annotate using uh, using those uh, using the features available to you so to enable annotation here go to the hover to the top of the screen and you will see all these options and you can see an annotate option as well and as soon as you click on this you will see the toolbar that was available to us in uh, the whiteboard men uh, and that's the same toolbar that will be available to you here and so uh, what you can do is you can click on draw and basically now you or any of the participants can highlight on draw or any part of the screen if you want so the screen can be any presentation or excel or google document as i told you and if you want the functionality of the mouse to be back you can click on mouse and here we can see now the functionality of the mouse is back you can hover and alternate between these functionalities like this and in the same way you can disable attend the annotation uh, by hovering on the top of the screen clicking on more and disable attend the annotation and if you want to ensure that the uh, that this option is being used appropriately you can show the names of annotators so this is how you use annotation in general in zoom and uh, through this video, I have shown you how to use the whiteboard in Zoom and how to use Zoom annotation tools. And uh, if you have any problems or issues in uh, using the annotation tools, let me know in the comments and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, if you like the content, please hit on like and subscribe. Keep rocking, signing off.